everyone. So they were doing an apartment tour. I'm sorry if my voice is weird. I don't know what happened, but I lost it like two days ago and I, I don't know why. I wasn't yelling, I'm not sick. It just decided to vanish. So let's just act like I don't sound like a boy. And yeah, so today I'm gonna show you my apartment and I just moved in here maybe a couple weeks ago. I'm here for college and yeah, so let's just get started and I'll talk as we go so it's not boring. So I'm standing at the front door right now, just casual. I have just my keys hanging right here when you walk in and then you go right into the kitchen. And then over here we just have like trash. <laughs> so nothing really to that side, but here's the kitchen and it's actually pretty spacious. I live in a one bedroom apartment, so it's pretty big for like just one person, but that's what it looks like. So yeah, we've got the sink. Underneath we just have cleaning supplies, dishwasher. Then over here we have my toaster. We have some brownies that we made and just some wooden stuff, wooden spoons and whatnot. Then in here I just have my plates and cups pretty standard and then this cabinet's so cute because i use it for my supplements and stuff so i have my b12 because i don't eat fully vegan but i try to eat mainly vegan so i still like to take b12 i have my sugar bear hair back here which not sponsored i actually just love these they're really good activated charcoal i put in my smoothies more b12 some cough syrup i don't even know what's back there like nyquil then up here we have cacao nibs maca powder which is like my honestly holy grail we have hemp seeds and then cacao powder and then up there we just have turmeric chia seeds and like these little elderberry root drop things for if you're sick so yeah those are really cute my little supplements then over here we just have the stove and the microwave this is kind of random but um, I'm Italian, so I just like to have some olive oil and balsamic vinegar on display. I use it all the time. Then we have some bananas and my juicer, which I don't love, but it is really good still. It's just really slow. Well, I'm not even gonna get into it, but that's my juicer. It's taken apart because I used it yesterday, but if you're wondering what juicer it is, I'll put a little label so you guys can look it up. But honestly, in the description, I'm gonna recommend a better juicer, so yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, I have my Nutribullet K-Cups for coffee and then my Keurig, which I don't use anymore. I actually switched to using a French press because if you look it up, there's actually lots of like gross things about Keurigs that I didn't know. Like some people were finding mold inside of it and I don't know, it just grossed me out because one day I was using it and I descale mine like very often and it's pretty new. It's only like a year old and there was just like mold and like gross little flaky things coming out. I'm like, we're done here. So it's kind of just here for display now. I don't really use it that much, but maybe I'll sell it. <laughs> So up here is like my main pantry. This place doesn't have like a closet pantry, so I just use this big cabinet. Down here I just have like my main stuff, flaxseed, oat flour, we have some popcorn, quinoa, granola, brown rice, pumpkin puree for making like pumpkin bread and stuff like that. Then we have pumpkin spice waffles or pancakes. We have some sugar, almonds, blah blah blah, just basic stuff. And I have my sushi rice because I make sushi really often it's like my favorite food so I'm always making that and then up here we just have my proteins some coffee chocolate chips and then all of my spices which when I moved in I just bought like all these spices and I was so excited because they're so cute they're just so adorable the little labels they all match and they're really good spices they're honestly worth the money so that's awesome and then I just have some seaweed back there for making my sushi so that's pretty much my entire like pantry and then in here i just have my cups i have my rice cooker it's my school <laughs> don't stalk me just kidding but if you go to usc like let me know we can be friends that'd be cute i have my french press which if you want i can do like honestly i'm thinking of doing vlogs but if you guys are curious like the french press is so much better than brewing your own like coffee in a machine or anything like that it's just it's a 
amazing. So I could do a whole vlog thing on that. But yeah, I have my Yeti cup. I have little lids for my Nutribullet because I like to make smoothies a lot. Then up here, I just have coffee cups, my coffee grinder because I do like to grind my own coffee because you need like a coarse blend to use the French press. And it's just like a lot more fresh, so I like that. And then just some more cups over here. So yeah, it's pretty much it in there. Then over here is my fridge. So I don't really have a lot in here. I honestly don't buy a lot of food. I kind of just do like small shopping. So I kind of have to go soon again, but I do go to Whole Foods a lot. And mainly I just have like fruits, vegetables. If you're wondering what that is, that's pumpkin puree, which is kind of gross. Um, yeah, just fruits and vegetables, hummus. There is cheese and like eggs up there because I have a close friend that comes over a lot. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like vegan food, so we have to have some normal things. In here, we just have my butter, my earth balance. We have soy sauce, we have mustard. This is the best for like putting on sushi. It's from Whole Foods. You know, just basic stuff. And then obviously just regular mayo for people who may not want veganaise. <laughs> which honestly isn't bad. We have almond milk, and honestly, I prefer Almond Breeze over the Khalifa Farms. I just feel like this one has a weird aftertaste, but maybe that's just me. We have two Essentias, which that's the only water I buy. I usually buy like a ton and just have this whole thing stocked, but I'm running out. We have a kombucha. These are great because these aren't as expensive and they don't have a ton of sugar, so I do like the Brew Doctor ones. And then we just have a thing of pesto. I know, such a boring fridge, but I do like to eat out too. Like, I go to juice places or any kind of like healthy restaurants or whatever, so. Plus I'm in college and I'm broke, so there's that. Also guys, I forgot to show you my drawer. So this is my utensils. I have my sushi mat, chopsticks, because I love using chopsticks. And then I'm just having a casual little snack. <laughs> But in here, I just have all my measuring cups and whatnot. So yeah, I forgot to show that. And also down here, I have like a ton of different sized bowls, some jars for when I make juice or almond milk, cutting boards. And then in this one is just all pans, which obviously is not that organized, but whatever. And then also in this, we just have some containers, which some of them are dirty, so there's not that many. But yeah, I forgot to show that. So there you go. So that's the kitchen. And then over here is like a little bar area, which is like connected. And that's what it looks like, just two stools. So this is mainly where I eat. Then this lantern I got from Target pretty recently. They probably still have it, but I like to put a candle in here. And at night, it kind of like lights up and it's really cool. And it just makes the apartment feel more like a house, I guess. So that's really nice. Then over here, we just have this little cubby thing. So we have a clock. Oh my God, my hand just like slapped you guys. <laughs> we have a clock. And then over to this side, we just have this little like cubby unit thing. And in my last apartment, there was no space for a pantry. So I literally put my food in these little drawers, but now I don't need to do that. So I kind of just use it for like random storage. And then up here, we have some nice fall candles that I kind of just got like a week or two ago. So it's really nice because it kind of just makes it feel really cozy. And every day I can pick like which scent I want. So today our special is pumpkin patch, which I think is new this year. It's really nice. We have marshmallow fireside, which is my favorite candle of all time. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And then of course leaves because why would you not get leaves? Like, are you sick? So there's that. And then we have an S because Sophia obviously lives here. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm so funny. So in these first drawers is where or at least in this drawer is where I store all my makeup or at least like the most recent makeup. Yeah, just like my relevant palettes. I know it's not that organized, but honestly, like I don't really know how else to organize it. And then what's in this one? I don't even know. Oh yeah, my jewelry is in this one. We have watches, my crystals. I know it's kind of like a ratchet way to store jewelry, but I literally got rid of all my jewelry holders and then I moved here and I was like, shoot, where am I gonna put them? So there we go. Then in here, we just have it empty. I have some coasters. I have this really cool like coconut bowl and I don't ever eat out of it. I just kind of use it for display, honestly. And then I have this 
the grateful sign so fall so cute and then over here is a vegan cookbook and then we just have like some mini pumpkins and a candle and yeah it's just some nice little cozy decorations then down here i just have a nice big knit blanket and then in this one is where i keep all my hair styling tools so that's kind of cool but the only th annoying thing is like when you get ready you have to like walk out here to get a blow dryer but i don't really care that much down here is just random stuff so i have like a mic i have other little candle mounts for my wax melt i have my polaroid more mini pumpkins just like random nonsense and sanitizer and of course my weave <laughs> in a Ziploc bag. Isn't that great? It honestly looks like a dead cat. <laughs> honestly, subscribe. Then in this last one, we just have a lunchbox and a drying mat that I never use. I just hate drying mats. I think they look so ugly. I like just a clean counter. Now backing up, here's this view from here. And then over here is my living room area. And before you guys even notice it on your own, there's like scratches on this couch on that side and on that side because this furniture actually came with the apartment, like the couch and the chair. So the person before me must have had a fucking demon cat. So let's just pretend that's not there, but I think they're gonna fix that for me eventually. So let's just pretend it's not there. Um, we have this chair and I just put this like fuzzy throw over it. I think I think it's from home goods and then over here we have a cute little table with my essential oils on it and i almost always have my diffuser on i really like using sage and peppermint it's just really nice and then i always have some kind of like fresh flowers so this week i just have red tulips and honestly they're like kind of dying <laughs> so i probably have to get new flowers soon but usually i'll do roses then we just have this mirror above the couch to kind of open the area oh yeah we have a nice little window and then over here we just have the tv we have my beats pill and then down here i know the cords are really ugly but honestly like i don't know how to organize them better so can someone help me on that but yeah in here i have all my essential oils pretty much like everything that I'm diffusing all the time. And then my Xbox, my wax melt, and then down here I have my yoga mat just kind of like rolled up, kind of for display, but honestly it's really cute there. I just like the vibe it gives the room. I haven't done yoga here yet, but I really am excited to like lay out my mat right there and just do it, kind of have the, like the sunlight and everything. This is what it looks like from this angle. Very cute, super cozy and homey. Over here is my desk. So you kind of go into this little corner and this, <laughs> I'm honestly such a loser for writing that, but um, I use this whiteboard for a lot of things. Like for my crystal online little business, I would plan things out. Or if I'm like manifesting stuff, I'll write out like my plans or my goals. I recommend, honestly, everyone has a big whiteboard in their house. So here's my desk and I'm always sitting here. It's like my favorite part of the apartment. And I just like a very clean desk. So I just keep it nice and simple. I have my water. I'm always drinking Essentia. I at least drink like one big one a day, but honestly, I should be drinking even more than that. By the way, I just got this plant. She she is thriving like oh my god she looks so happy but i got this plant like two or three days ago it is a succulent obviously and i named her celine and i think that's just so cute celine the succulent she honestly was the prettiest one there were other succulents in like little gardens and stuff and i just really wanted this one she was like three dollars <laughs> and of course in this drawer i just have random nonsense i have my xbox controller games my glasses container, Nintendo, lighter, tripod. And then right here, I just have a patio. And I honestly don't go out there for one reason, which is, I don't know if you can see it, but in that corner, there is a huge beehive. So bye. <laughs> Let me do a little overview. So there's the living area. And I forgot to show you guys right here. 
There is like a little laundry area, so I do have my own laundry room. I'll turn on the light. And this is what it looks like. It's not like super cute or anything. I should probably like better organize this stuff. I would like to put stuff in like clear containers, but like I said, broke college student. So, I mean, it's really nice though. Like honestly having my own washing machine and stuff. Okay, so off of that is my bedroom. And yes, I do sleep with a stuffed animal. That's Angel from Lilo and Stitch for the uncultured. But yeah, I don't have a headboard because I've been lazy. I really want to like build my own like wood headboard or even do like lights But I just haven't done that yet So just pretend that one is there and I actually have the same exact bed set at home I wanted it to feel like I was in my room here So I just have the same one. I even brought my pillows from home here. My side tables are nothing really special They're just from pier one and they're honestly too small for this bed But they work same with the lamps like they're just kind of there because I needed a bedside table with lamps You know like they're not really like my cup of tea and then over here i just have a little dresser thing with a small tv so that's really nice i like to sleep with the tv on but i like it with like no sound and on the lowest brightness so basically just to feel like there's a tv and i'm not sitting in a dark cold empty room about to get like fucking haunted then on this side it's kind of empty here but i have a little diffuser there and then another light i want a bench here or like something cute but I don't know what to do so it's just kind of oddly empty and then down this hallway we have a nice little full-length mirror and then in here is my closet let me turn on the light it's actually pretty big so I keep my shoes down there and then a lot of my clothes mainly just shirts hanging here all my jackets dresses stuff like that it's kind of organized by like jackets almost like pullover flannel sweater type things actual sweaters t-shirts tanks and then dresses and rompers and then i just have my laundry basket and my book bag for school <laughs> So this is what my counter looks like, you know, just basic. Obviously, it's like a little used because other people have lived here. We have my little simple human mirror, aka my budget ring light, which honestly, it's not even a budget. Like, this was expensive. <laughs> my toothbrush and then some nice pumpkin cupcake soap because we want it to be fall even in here. Then we just have a lamp because why not? And then in this is actually a lot of my daily products. So basically all my face care is in here. I love Beauty Counter. I've done a video on it if you wanna check it out. And you can even shop with my link if you want. This sounds like a freaking commercial, but honestly, like I love Beauty Counter. My skin is amazing because of it. So these are the products I use. Then down here, we have a Lush lip scrub. This is my favorite lotion by Lush. It's the sleepy one and it's just so good. It's like a vanilla lavender then we have a cleansing balm which is good for taking off makeup more of like a sleep moisturizing cream toner then down here we have a charcoal mask and i love it because you can really see it like pulling the oil out of your skin and it honestly just makes my skin flawless and then we just have some perfumes and body mist and then my clarisonic so yeah that's really nice because i can keep it right next to me and it's all like hidden in this little thing so that's cool then down there is just like basic stuff. I have like other toiletries and my makeup bag for like my everyday makeup. And then, you know, the little area. And then my shower. You go in, then here's the shower. We just have obviously shampoo and conditioner. And then on this side, we just have a scrub and then some body wash and whatnot. So yeah, just very simple. Then this is the view coming out of the bathroom. And then you can go back out here and you have the living room. So that is my entire apartment. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know any design suggestions or anything like that. And yeah, so I think that's it. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions about anything you saw, where things are from, just let me know. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked it and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like me and yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.